All right, so I'm gonna click on this little selector tool here, then I'm gonna click on the yard, and then I'm gonna drag my mouse down. And we can see the before and after by turning this panel on and off. And we can see we did a lot to uh, darken this very bright area of the lawn, uh, which I think was getting a lot of reflection uh, into our lens uh, from the sun. Also, maybe it was a little bit dried out. It doesn't get enough water. But anyways, what's going on here um, is that we're using the HSL panel. This stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And uh, we're starting off in luminance here because luminance is the measure of uh, brightness. Uh, it's how bright something is. So uh, we notice that uh, this area is th uh, of the lawn is very bright. We want to darken that. Uh, and, and so instead of uh, playing with the sliders individually, um, we can just click on this tool. And then whatever uh, area of the photo we click on, it will adjust those colors. So if I were to click on the sky here, and then you can't see it, but I'm going to drag my mouse down now. We're making the colors in the sky uh, darker. Uh, or conversely, if we push our mouse up, we can uh, increase the luminance, make those colors brighter. Um, so uh, we're going to use uh, all three uh, hue, saturation, and luminance, and going to try out a few different uh, photos here where. Um, they can uh, adjusting them can come in handy so let's check out another photo here and we're going to make sure we have this tool clicked on so we can just click on an area of the photo uh, drag down and now we're getting the yard a little bit darker uh, and now because uh, we can see this yard uh, has a lot of yellow in it um, green comes after yellow so i want to push these hues and hues is just a different a word essentially for color, I want to push these hues more towards green. So we're going to push the yard a little bit closer to green away from yellow and we can see the before and after by toggling off that panel. So let's try another example. We have this photo which I'm okay with the color. I want to darken the yard a little bit, darken these uh, hues then I think I want to add a little bit of saturation. So I'm going to click on the yard, push up on my mouse, and add a little saturation. And turn that on and off, because I think the, we have enough saturation in the photo already, but I want some more just uh, in the greens. Um, so let's see. Let's try this photo out here. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to click on the grass drag my mouse down, uh, push the hues a little bit more into green, and just a little bit of saturation. And we can see the before and after. Real subtle, but a nice difference there. Let's try one more. We have a driving range here, which gets uh, beat up pretty bad. Uh, this photo's a little crooked, but don't worry about that. Uh, we're just testing out uh, the HSL panel. So I'm going to drag down the luminance. And this course is very yellow. I'm going to bump up the yellows into green a little bit and give us a little bit more uh, saturation. And that's a little bit better. So I hope that helps. If you're interested in more tips like that, I have quite a few of them in my online course, which you can find a link to in the description below. It's a complete guide to real estate photography and also includes the Lightroom presets for every house I shoot. So check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks.